Hello, baseball perspective here today. And today we are going to be going over Francisco Lindor's fielding mechanics. And we're going to be breaking him down and showing you his uh, throws and his footwork and what he does. Just start with watching the video. we're done watching the video the first thing is is let's watch his footwork his footwork he's very choppy now i want you guys to watch here i believe he starts about right here he's gonna gain ground this way and then he's gonna come this way towards the ball where i believe around here he's gonna be in his fielding position and his fielding posture to uh heel toe row yep right there so what I want to show you is watch his footwork and watch everything from the way he starts. So right here. A lot of young players don't do that. A lot of young players about right if they're starting. If they're starting right about, one second, right there, they would be stopping their feet about right here to catch this ball. So what I'm trying to say there is they're going to get flat-footed, and then from being flat-footed, they're going to have to make a throw that's out there into a harder throw. Now, if they were what Lindor is doing where he breaks down his footwork and everything to throw, Lindor ends about right here. The throw would be a lot shorter because Lindor is midway instead of throwing from the deep end, which is back there. Now, another thing I want to uh, go over here in this video that I love that Lindor does is watch how he's going to break down his footwork to getting the ball now. So this is before the ball. Now let's see how he breaks down his footwork when he gets there. So boom. So now you're going to start seeing what I like is as he's fielding the ball, you could see that he's slowly starting to get his hands and his glove to the ball. So as he's stepping and as he's getting into the motion, the ball, he's fluently with the ball as the ball's coming towards him. So he's never stopping. It's never stop, go, then go again like it's not go stop go it's more go 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 it's slow quick slow and then he's gonna bring it to center so watches now i want you to watch more of his heel watch watch this foot watch how his heel is still up He's going to heel toe roll. And what's that going to do for him is as he's also funneling the ball to the center of his body, he's going to now be more in line with the throw. So now the throw from first base, instead of being more flat like this, he has more of a direct target going that way, which gives him a better throw to the first baseman. So see? Now he's going to follow the line that I have. And he's going to do a two-step pattern, it looks like. And from there, that's how Lindor is going to make the throw. Now, next thing I want to also catch on is this, center. Now, some people ask, why should you get centered? Well, when you're an infielder, the ball... You have four point you have four seconds to make a play. So any extra movements, there's a chance that the runner could be beating you out. So what does being center have to do with it? Well let's see. Let's see. Gets you short. 
much shorter. Because look, as a pitcher, you're okay with pitching. You have more of a loop when you throw. So if you watch this hand, this hand is going into a tight V. So this is what his hand's going to look like. See? Much shorter and much easier to get the ball out and to just throw. He's not going to wind up. He's not going to take the ball back. It's just going to go from here to then up. Watch. There to up. He's going to flow right into it. And for him, the way he's throwing, he's using more of his glove and his shoulder more to make an accurate throw towards his first his first baseman. So some may ask, why does his arm and why does that all matter? So I want to show you guys. I'm going to compare what Lindor is doing, and then I'm going to show you what outfielders do and what, um, what a pitcher more looks like and what infielders shouldn't look like when they throw so now we have Vladimir Guerrero on the left and we have Francisco Lindor on the right. So what I want to show you with throwing is we didn't get a full view like how we have Lindor on the right side. But you could see, you'll be able to see what I mean on either side. So let's watch, watch Vladimir Guerrero's throw. throw. Now... Right there. As infielders, this arm action is bad. Your arm, this is what I like to say, this is having your hand go underwater. You don't ever want your hand going underwater as an infielder. As an infielder, you want your hand and your arm to be above the water because it is a much shorter arm path. This is more loading up to throw. This is not loading up to throw. This is much shorter compared to something like this. That is the difference. You'll see more pitchers throw like this. You won't really see infielders throw like that. And if they do, they're most likely eventually going to get changed into a uh, pitcher or maybe uh, an outfielder. But you'll never see an infielder have an arm slot of Vladimir Guerrero's too long and it takes too much time if you guys like this video please like and subscribe uh if you have any questions please comment down below